Good morning. We are coming at you from Hanoi. I am so excited for this vlog because, honestly, it is absolutely nuts here. We've got such a busy day planned, but first let's get some coffee. I will say that we are on the fourth floor and we have no elevator. <laughs> Coffee is needed. from real coffee to sachet coffee but it's three in one so I'm assuming it's got milk coffee and sugar in it <laughs> so we can't find a spoon in our hotel so we're gonna stir our coffee with a chopstick <laughs> Honestly, we arrived here last night and we just went for a little date night so we didn't take the camera. This place is nuts. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. I can't wait to show you. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a little bit of a challenge going on today. So there's three foods that we've been told that we need to eat or try whilst we're in Hanoi or Vietnam. So number one is egg coffee. Number two is bun cha, and the third one is ban mi. Oh. So throughout the day, we are going to try and find these foods, and we're going to eat all of them today to see whether we can do it. That's our little challenge for the day. Whilst we do that, obviously, we're going to be exploring the city. There's quite a few sights to see, and we're going to show you all of those as well. So come with us, because this is about to get crazy. <laughs> We've inadvertently, on the hunt for the egg coffee, found St. Joseph's Cathedral. It's quite cool. It looks quite gothic, but it's awesome. It is... Ta -da! Right there. It was opened in 1886. It's named after Joseph, who is the patron saint of Vietnam. So apparently one of the must-see things in Vietnam is a water puppet show and we've got one right by us so we booked tickets for half six tonight. Oh wait! We have seen the cathedral, we've booked the water puppet show, we still have not found coffee. Well, we've found a few places but they look really nice and really expensive so... And we're on a budget so we'll find the cheap one. Hey, we're trying to find the cheapest place. But we will do it, and uh, I need a coffee, really. I don't even know if it's going to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> so we found our first thing of our challenge, egg coffee. We're going to Laker Coffee. We have to go up again. 
We are on the rooftop. There's three different egg coffees. We're gonna go for the normal one. But you can also get um, matcha or chocolate. But I'll just try the normal one. <laughs> this is the famous egg coffee. <laughs> I'm not sure how you do it, but here it goes. <laughs> that is really nice. This egg coffee costs 57,000 Vietnamese dong per coffee. It's £1.91 each. Really cheap. Very nice. So, for our next trick, we are going to take you down there. The temple. It's a temple. We don't really know what to expect. The only thing is, uh, we didn't know we were going to go there. We're not wearing long trousers, so we don't know if we can actually go in. We might have to revisit it, but we'll see what we can do. What's going on? I saw someone get a picture taken here. I wanted to try it. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Gotta try. But we are at Dan Jok Son Temple. There we go. There we go. It's right in the uh, Hog PM Lake, I think. We've got to walk over the bridge to get there. So the temple is done and now we're just taking a little stroll around the lake. It's not too big, but it's big enough in the heat. We're just hoping to bump into some random things. This is how you cross the road in Vietnam. You just have to stop the cars. You just have to walk. Let's go. Come on, sit down now. It's mental! <laughs> how is that? <laughs> I don't know how we're not going to get run over, but... This is what you have to do. Yeah. That was a crossing as well, so... So yeah, that was an actual crossing. So we that was the smartest thing we could have done, really. So even when... So you get crossings and it'll have a red man, obviously don't walk. Green man, walk. It's green. There's still cars going down, so it's the same thing as the red man, really. 
doesn't make a difference. <laughs> right, so this statue is Lai Tai Tao? The founding emperor of the Li dynasty. He was the sixth ruler of Dai Viet and he reigned from 1009 to 1028. So, a very long time ago, a French uh, Renaissance, um, he was sort of like a spy here, he originally was building that uh, tower um, in order to bury his father, and basically once the city found out about his plans, they removed the body from the structure, um, and he wasn't allowed to finish it. Uh, and then many years later they actually decided to build the tower anyway so that is why it's there but we've gone past somewhere that sells barn me, which is our second thing we're gonna get for our food challenge. Let's try it. This is the bar barn me and let's try it. Mm. That is really good. Mm. So the bar me that I've gone for it's got sausage, it's got egg, pate, lettuce, carrot, mayonnaise I think. It's also got ketchup, cilantro um, and pate as well, so it's got everything in it. It cost 30,000 Vietnamese dong, so it's about roughly about a pound, so, but it's so good honestly. I decided to eat mine indoors because I don't like eating standing up, but it's nice. So we have been chilling. Some of us may have been sleeping. <laughs> I was doing some editing. Yeah. Uh, we're slowly catching up with the videos actually. But our show is in just over an hour, our water puppet show. And also we've got the last food that we need to try, which is bun cha. I think I found somewhere quite close to the hotel. I'm not 100% sure, so stay with us and see if we finish this challenge because that's the only thing we're eating tonight. We've got this. We can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> we are loving these little windy streets as we go down from our hotel to the main street. And I cannot wait to show you what the traffic is like at night time because it's the just got nothing at it's, night. <laughs> it's just something that it's already crazy. We're in a lane. that 
is the Turtle Tower that we were at earlier. Nice and lit up now. We've just made it to uh, the Water Puppet Show and our tickets were 100,000 Vietnamese dong each. You can pay 150,000 each if you wanted a closer seat but we're trying to save money so we went for the cheaper one. I have no idea what this is. It was on a list of the uh, like top 10 things to do in Hanoi so I've got no expectation. I have no idea what it is, but we're going to see what see what it's like. I'm so excited! I know. I can't wait. Hopefully, it's good. We'll let you know after. <laughs> It was cool and it was interesting, but I've got to be honest, an hour is a little bit too much. It got a little bit of samey towards the end and I will say that quite a few people left <laughs> yeah. halfway through. There was an entire row that left. Two but, entire rows. Yeah. But uh, I mean, it was good and you probably should experience it, but I just felt like after the first 10 minutes, I was ready to leave. I wouldn't say it's a must-see, but it's quite cool. I would definitely recommend that if you do go, don't bother spending the extra 100,000. Anyway, the journey continues. We've still got to do our challenge. Still trying to find some bun cha. So let's go. The night is still young. stood in the middle of the road. From what we gather, there's a big walking street that goes all the way around the lake tomorrow evening. Um, and normally you would not be able to stand here because you'd get run over, basically. But it's quite nice because it's a lot quieter now. However, we cannot show you the like crazy traffic tonight, unless we go to a different part, which we probably will for our food. So, it makes a very welcome change. We've stumbled across the market. <laughs> what a surprise. So, we've finally made it. This was our challenge. This is the third fish. It's Buncha. Uh, it's noodles, lettuce, kind of like pork patties, and then you get some like spring rolls sort of thing on the side. I can't wait to try it. We are at Buncha number one. Uh, I don't know what the price is, <laughs> but we'll find out later. Yeah, we just sat down and then we've got it, so it's just come here. Um, I'm going to try a little bit. That is really, really good. Hey, you got it. It's nice, right? <laughs> so, we have just finished our buncha. We've completed the challenge. Woo! I must say, that was quite nice. And actually, all three things so the egg, coffee, the banh mi, and the bun cha. Ooh, delicious. I think we'll clear up what just happened then. So there's the same restaurant on both sides of the street and you sit on the pavement and there's no menu or anything. It's one thing that they serve. You literally sit down and they bring it all to you. And yeah. um, that's it. That's it. Uh, the price was 140,000 each. But honestly, you get so much food. Oh, I couldn't eat it all. We both could not finish it, and uh, it was really, really nice. 
really tasty. And we both used chopsticks the whole time. And Absolutely. It looked like we knew what we were doing. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't drop any. We just, we ate. It was good. We're getting the hang of it. I am getting the hang of it now. Yeah. We're going to go and explore the market that we briefly walked past earlier. Because we were a bit hungry, we just skipped past it. So let's go. Yeah. Honestly, I have never experienced a city like this. And I, uh, I kind of, I kind of love it actually. It's absolute chaos everywhere. But honestly, it's so awesome. Yeah, it's quite awesome. I love it here. I cannot stop smiling when I'm walking around this place. Honestly, it's just absolutely nuts. <laughs> I'm having the best time though. I think the walking street is tonight. <laughs> there are so many people here and honestly, people are like dancing in the street. It's like a proper festival vibe. Yeah. There's loads of different like stages and people dancing, music. We got skipping over there. People are skipping in front of us, it looks nuts. There's like a huge stage with like massive speakers as well. Uh, everyone's just having a really good time actually. Which makes a huge difference from the chaos that it normally is like. It's just like everyone's relaxed and just taking it easy in the evening. Nice. It's very nice, very, very nice. <laughs> the uh, night market a little bit more and the walking street um, and then we just spent the last sort of half an hour with our Airbnb uh, host uh, trying to book the next couple of days, uh, which we've done, which is good and that's really exciting. So you'll have to stay tuned to see what we're doing. Uh, we've got a really busy day tomorrow. Um, again, we're here. So we're going to get an early night and we're just going to relax for the rest of the evening. So. Well, we've had a great day. It's been so good. I actually love this city so much. I do like the vibe. And it's, uh, it's so busy and it's so chaotic, but walking around the walking street tonight was just so nice. We're going to go back tomorrow and it should be properly popping off tomorrow. So I uh, can't wait for that as well. But yeah, we're going to go see some history bits tomorrow. Um, yeah, I can't wait for that either. So, anyway, it's time for us to go to sleep, so peace out, good Bye. night, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>